Today we will discuss a crucial aspect of the philosophy of engineering, the role of professional organizations. So these organizations are not just clubs or networking groups. They are pillars that uphold the standards, ethics and continuous development of the engineering profession. They provide advocacy, professional development, updates on innovation and a sense of community. As future engineers, understanding these organizations will help you navigate your career and contribute meaningfully to the field. So let's uh, begin with a general overview. Engineering professional organizations exist to support engineers at every stage of their careers. They advocate to the profession, offer uh, resources for professional growth, keep members informed about the latest in, uh, innovations, and foster a sense of belonging. So for new graduates, joining such organizations can be a gateway to mentorship, learning and leadership opportunities. Today we will look at the top associations that are especially beneficial for engineering graduates. So the first organization uh, I want to highlight is the National Society of uh, Professional Engineers or NSPE which is established in 1934. This is unique because it focuses on non-technical aspects of engineering. This means it addresses issues like ethics, licensure and public policy, areas that are just as important as technical expertise. So this NSPE supports career mobility through educational programs and networking events. By participating in NSPE, engineers can ensure they are not only technically competent, but also ethically grounded and civically engaged. Next, we have uh, IEEE, which stands for, for Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers. So IEEE is the world's largest technical professional organization spanning all fields of engineering. With over uh, 420,000 members in 160 countries, this IEEE is truly global. It offers unparalleled opportunities for networking, access to cutting-edge publications, and participation in international conferences. So being a part of IEEE connects you to the forefront of technological advancement and a community of innovators. And the third organization is the American Association of Engineering Societies, or AAES, which is founded in 1979. AAES is a multidisciplinary group that welcomes professionals from all branches of engineering, including educators and researchers. Its main goal is to promote uh, the free exchange of engineering knowledge on a global scale. So through AAES, you can collaborate with peers from different disciplines, broadening your perspective and enhancing your ability to solve complex problems. Me. Next is um, Society of uh, Women Engineers, this SWE. This is our fourth organization. So SWE plays a vital role in supporting women in engineering, a field where gender diversity is still a challenge. So through leadership workshops, educational programs and networking events, SWE empowers women engineers to thrive. The organization also provides uh, forums, awards, and publication opportunities, helping to amplify the voices and achievements of women in the profession. By promoting diversity and inclusion, SWE enriches the entire engineering community. So finally, let's look at the International Engineering Consortium, or IEC, which is founded in 1944. This IEC connects universities and professional societies focusing on contributing sorry focusing on uh, continuing the education one of its key roles is to bring together department heads from electrical and computer engineering to share industry insights iec ensures that engineering education remains relevant and that professionals stay updated with ongoing developments in the field it fosters lifelong learning and collaboration, which are essential for a sustained professional growth. So professional organizations are essential to the philosophy of engineering. They uphold standards, foster ethical practice, and ensure the continuous development of the profession. By engaging with these organizations, you not only enhance your 
own career but also contribute to the advancement and integrity of engineering as a whole. So I encourage each of you to explore these organizations further and consider how you might participate in their activities as you move forward in your careers. Thank you.